Okay, textbook solution uh, for the design of potentiometer biasing uh, for this amplifier. Again, let's look at the specification. We can write a few things out on side here. We've got a 10 volt power supply, and we want our collector current. Let's label that here IC. Uh, in this case, it's 1 milliamp. Okay, and we've got a value being given for VE. VE in this case is a third of the power supply. So that's 3.3 volts, okay, VE. If we approximate that IE equals the same as IC, okay, we can, we can now easily calculate the value of RE. Okay, so let, let's start with the simple equations first, shall we? Let's draw a little sketch so we know where we are. Here we've got our power supply, VCC, 10 volts. Okay, we've got our VE voltage down the bottom here and that's 3.3 volts. We're going to want our collector to be sat somewhere in the middle. Okay, that's the absolute voltage of VC. Okay, let's label that there. Okay, so again, this is gonna be 6.65 uh, volts. Okay, right, let's do a little bit of maths and calculate the values of RE and RC. RE is equal to basically VE over IC. Okay, which is equal to 3.3 volts. Make, make that look a bit more like 3.3 divided by 10 to the minus 3. 3.3 kilo ohms. Okay, very, very simple for the first calculation. Now let's calculate RC. Okay, well that's VCC minus the absolute voltage of the collector, all divided by IC. Okay, so that's 10 minus 6. Um, 65 all divided by 10 to the minus 3 and again that comes out at uh, um, 3.35k okay we've done this simple part what we're going to do now is we're going to work out um, these two components now if we're using the Norton equivalent method okay and we're using this approximation, we're going to change the circuit into a voltage source, okay, like that, and an impedance. Okay, so we need to calculate RBB, what the base resistance looks like, and VBB. Okay, well, just from inspection, we can look on the circuit, we can say that VBB is equal to the emitter voltage plus VBE. Okay, and that comes out at 3.3, um, third of the supply, plus the 0 0.7, 4.03 volts. Okay. And RBB, the base resistance, is equal to, well, if I'm sat at the base here, if I look that way, I see R2 connected to ground. And because the power supply is DC, it's a short circuit, so it's a low impedance. So in effect, R1 looks like it is connected to ground. So RBB looks like R1, R2 over R1 plus R2, the parallel components of those two, of those two um, designs. Okay, so now we've got, an we've got an equation for that, but we can't actually solve that yet. Now we have to pick up this expression. This is a, a rule of thumb. We're actually saying that RBB is equal to beta RE over 10. Okay. Now we've defined RE up here and we've got our value of 3.3K. So in effect, we can, we, we know beta as well for this circuit. Okay. It's not actually written there. Beta equals 160 for this design. Just as a note, that the reason that I'm using beta equals 160, I'm using AUCAD and I'm using the evaluation version. And this transistor in here is the QN, uh, Q2N2222. And beta value works at around about 160 when it's biased. So that's why I keep using the same value. So I've now got this expression, RBB, and this expression, RBB. Okay. Well, we can also work out an expression for VBB here as well. So if I want to work out what VBB equals, 
it's equal to the supply voltage multiplied by R2 over R2 plus R1. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put this expression up here for RB and then I'm going to equate these two values. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just um, simplify that over here. So I've got beta RE over 10 is equal to R1, R2, R1 plus R2. And if I take this one over here, I have got VBB divided by VCC is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2. Okay, well if I take all of that lot out, this part of the equation, I can substitute this value in for that value and I've just got R1. So I can, I can equate these two equations. Okay, and that gives me my simplification. So let me just uh, move page and I'll rewrite those equations out and then we'll carry on. So we started off with beta RE over 10 is equal to um, R1 R2 over R1 plus R2. Okay, and I can just do that. It's the same thing. And we had VCC over Ooh, hold on, let me just go back there. I VBB. VBB over VCC is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2. So if I substitute that in here, we now have beta RE over 10 is equal to R1 multiplied by VBB over VCC. Okay, simple cross multiply. If I multiply by VCC divided by VBB, I've got beta RE VCC over 10 VBB is equal to R1. So, all I need to do now is put a few numbers in. So, beta was 160. Okay, multiplied by 3.3K of RE. Uh, multiply by 10 volts, all divided by um, 10, multiplied by uh, 4.03. Okay, and I, I worked that one out to be 132 kilo ohms. There we go. So now all I need to do is, is substitute in uh, to a different equation to calculate R2. Very, very simple. Um, if we just we could use this expression up here for this, for this one, it's nice and simple. So we could say um, R1 divided by VCC over VBB minus the 1 is equal to R2, so let's put some numbers in, 132K all divided by 10, that's divided by 4.03, subtract 1 is equal to 88 kilo ohms. Okay, now what you've done there is you followed the textbook method and you've used the simplification over here, that the, the base resistance should equal um, beta RE over 10. So, what I'm going to do, I'll just come out of this software tool, keep those annotations. I'm going to continue recording and let's just have a quick look at ORCAD. Uh, I've put those values into ORCAD, so as you can see here, RC equals 3.35K at the top, RE equals 3.3K down here, RB1 and RB2 have now been set, and our design goal was 6.5 volts here and 1 milliamp, so you can see you're about um, 700 and, uh, sorry, 75 microamps off spec and about uh, 0.4 volts off spec. So we're around there. So we're pretty close to our design specification. 
And that shows you how you can do this using um, uh, the standard sort of method. I have a different method which I'll show in a different um, screen cam.